Welcome back, everybody. Tracy in the van. We're in Maine. And I'm sitting outside of Crow's Nest Barbershop. I'm about to get a haircut and a trim of, and a shaping of something, you know. We're going to make this beard look more presentable. Anyway, seven months in the making. Haven't trimmed it. I did a little trimming here in the mustache a few times. But now it's time to get it done by a professional. So let's get that done. Florida. Florida? Bam. There it is. Haircut and a beard trim. Boy, that looks pretty good. Anyway, much cleaner. There you go. <laughs> I just took my shower at Planet Fitness and I forgot to put my mask on when I got out and uh, I didn't realize it until I was at the door. Doesn't matter. I'm fully vaccinated. Anyway, good shower, nice hot water. Wingham, Wingham, Maine, which is right outside of Portland. A little village right outside of Portland. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I headed to a little park right there in Portland called Lincoln Park. But it was not as appealing as I hoped it would be. It's a nice place if you're an office worker, you want to go down for lunch and hang out in the park. I was looking for something a little more. I decided to go to my first destination, and that was going to be a little park, a little lighthouse park called Bug Light Park. Well, there it is. Bug Light Park. Ooh, they even got a little museum here. Cool. Y'all ever hear of Liberty Ships? They played a huge role in World War II. They were built right here in Maine. They were hastily put together, and they didn't have the best watertight integrity of, a, say, a battleship or a warship, but they were made to move goods across the Atlantic into the hands of our allies and keep them into the fight. The Ugly Duckling was another boat made right here in Maine. It also helped win the war. I mean, how do you think we landed on Omaha Beach? It was those beautiful, ugly ducklings made right here in the shipyards of Maine. Okay, so I'm over here getting a picture of the big Liberty Ship monument thing. And, and look what I see in the rock breaker here along the shore. Uh -huh. That's a whole... That's weird, man. That's ancient alien stuff right there. That hole goes clean through. Clean through. Let me get a selfie with the ancient alien hole. Look at that, would you? A haver. A haver and a pack. A pack and a haver. Haver, pack. <laughs> I don't talk like that, not really. But it's a nice place. You really got to come and see it. Bug Light. Bug Light Park, exactly. Right here in the harbor in Portland, Maine. It's pretty. Well, Lincoln Park was kind of a bust, but no big deal. It was really close to the harbor here. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a few miles, and I thought, let's go see that little lighthouse out there, and then, uh, you know, there's two more I can see. More uh, taller, more awe-inspiring type of lighthouses. The picturesque ones you see in all the little puzzles and stuff they sell all over the place. Those are the lighthouses that Maine they're famous for, or, or Maine is famous for. So I plan to see those while I'm here. So I went to a nearby park called 
Two Light State Park. And they have two lighthouses there, but they were both closed and I couldn't get close to them. So I quickly turned my attention to the shoreline. You know, it's one of those typical, or at least what I think is typical main shorelines with the craggy rocks and the waves coming over. And I was looking at it and, you know, I'm no rock hound, but I do love a good geological formation. But that kind of looked like petrified wood. Okay, look at this, for instance. It looks like, you know, a tree trunk that's just been sheared off right there. But tell me that doesn't look like wood. And here's another example. This looks like an old log. You know, with all the wormholes and everything just burrowed into it. But it's wood. I mean, it's, uh, it's stone. But it looks like petrified wood to me. Okay, this has to be petrified wood. That looks like, that looks like a lot, but it's stone. But no, it is, it's petrified wood. There you go. That looks like an old log. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But right up there, right up there, that hill there. Let's see, can you see up there? That's a lobster shack. I think it's time I get a lobster roll. Tracy? Sorry? Tracy Gardner? Okay, thank you so much. Right there in front. Tracy, right? There you are. Thank you. Okay. Got my lobster roll. First lobster of the main trip. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to look at the Atlantic Ocean, and I'm going to enjoy my roll. Y'all can't watch me eat though, because you know I don't like that. So I'll meet you guys back at the van.